Hey, welcome back. It's Houdini time. Here are eight tips that maybe you never knew before. Let's jump in. Vectors in the viewport. Sometimes you're wrangling and you just want a little bit more control over those vector values. Well, thanks to Igor for hooking me up with a super dope tip. You can create a vector channel and then drag them into the viewport. You can create a handle and now you have viewport control over those channels. You can also create this neat little HUD and now you can control it like this. How wonderful. UV quick shade. This one has saved me a good deal of time. When working with textures, it's sometimes nice to be able to see them on your geometry in the viewport, but you don't necessarily want to subdivide and use an attribute from map as your geometry gets really heavy and it looks well bad. Instead, you can pipe your textures in using a UV quick shade. What's really great about this is it's based on your UVs, so it'll show you the exact Exact same thing as your renderer. Now you can do flipbooks for your client's approval with textures and all. Shot sculpt. Thanks to Azalek for this one, it's amazing. If you've ever wanted to do some basic sculpting in Houdini, you hit tab and type sculpt. You've met with this lovely tool, which quite honestly is useless. I love your side effects, but this is not a sculpt tool. But if you go to Windows, HScript Text Board, and type in op unhide sop shot sculpt, you've just unlocked a new level of Houdini. Now you can hit tab and shot sculpt. This functions a lot more like a sculpting tool. Why it's hidden, I'm not sure, but now you can easily move points around and create all those dreamy characters that you've always wanted. Of course, you can remesh to get more geometry or you can even VDB to get a nice uniform mesh. Camera frustrum. Sometimes, perhaps like me, you like to see what your camera's angle of view looks like and what it sees. Well, you can hit F and now you can see your camera's view and you get this cool little viewport handle. But when you dive into a network, you lose that view. That sucks. But if you right click on the camera and click persistent, just like that, all your dreams become a reality. Lit spheres. Sometimes when working with grain simulations with P-Scale, you want to visualize your grains, not just as points. Now you can use a copy to points and use a primitive sphere, but you'll quickly notice that this gets really slow in the viewport. Introducing the new and improved lit spheres. Hit D over your viewport and go to the geometry tab and then under particles, change it from points to lit spheres. Now you get some really nice lit spheres with P-Scale and it's as fast as regular points. B for bend. When using the bend node, it'll always come in in the wrong direction, guaranteed. But now instead of having to manually type in the up vector like a pleb, you can hit the letter B on your keyboard and cycle through the different options. So much nicer. Another shortcut that I never knew about until, well, very recently is the letter G. This gives you the handle and now you can move the bend tool around and place it exactly where you want. I wish someone had told me about this sooner. Reset viewport. If you've used Houdini a while, you've probably encountered some fun times when you get some weird geometry glitching and getting stuck in the viewport. Well, you can use the lab's reset viewport. What I went ahead and did was change the default hotkey control T for Houdini's native reset viewport to the lab's version as it's so much better. Shift R. Okay, this one is really simple that many of you probably know, but I didn't know this for the last three quarters of my Houdini journey. So I'm just making sure. When you have two inputs into a merge or an attribute wrangle or any node really, if you hit Shift R, you swap the wires. This is really useful in a dot net when you add a static object because it's always in the wrong side of the merge. Shift R and presto, good to go. Well thanks for watching. If you enjoyed those tips give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.